Hey, do you want to learn how to do MIDI rock drums in Ableton the simple way, the clean way? I'll show you. But first of all, subscribe to the channel, press like, do all the good things, you know, please. My channel is really small. I'm trying to grow it so I can do this more for you guys. So you can learn from this man right here that doesn't really know what he's saying. But anyways, I know about what I'm going to talk today. So yeah, let's go into Ableton. If you're like me, you like to record MIDI drums using a keyboard. And I have a keyboard down here. You can't see it, but trust me, it's a keyboard. See, my fingers move and drums play. If you're like me, you like to play the drums on the keys and usually to do that, firstly, I like to record the kick and the snare and then I record the cymbals and the hi-hat. So you'll be something like this, kick and snare first, right? There you go. And then you zoom in here to check it out. You come down here, select all the nodes, comment you to quantize them, right? All the standard stuff. Now you have your kick and snare. You clean it up a little bit like this and you have kick and snare. All right. And then you have to record just the symbols, right? So make sure the MIDI overdub is on up here, the little plus button, right? Make sure that's on and you record just symbols. There you go, hi-hat and some cymbals. And then you can come down here and quantize them and all that stuff. And that's all good, that works, right? Because you can just select this part and quantize this part and you can select this part and quantize this part. But sometimes you start doing a really long song and, and you have more elements to your song and more cymbals and toms and all that stuff. All of this view here starts getting really crammed. And this happened to me so many times. I wanted to quantize things differently. So I wanted to quantize just the hi-hats to quarter notes, but I accidentally chose everything and I pressed quantize two quarter notes, press OK, and then all the rest of my drums were completely ruined like this. Then I had to command Z, just, oh yeah, I gotta select just the hi-hats to quarter notes like this. And then, okay, just my hi-hats are quantized to quarter notes now. That's okay, but it does get annoying, at least for me when I'm programming complicated drum patterns, it's getting really, really messy. So I found out there's another way to do this in Ableton and it's really simple. So let's delete this pattern right here like this and let's create two MIDI tracks. So one MIDI track, two MIDI tracks. Let's put them on top of this one here and let's call the first one kit and the second one symbols. And then the secret is to change your drums down here to in, in mode. So it's receiving MIDI notes all of the time even if it's not record enabled like this, right? But now what you can do, you see here the MIDI tracks have outputs. So you can just choose the drums track as the output for both of these tracks like this. And now I can record my kit up here. Then I can quantize this as usual. So let's put the eight notes in here, 100% force. Let's do this, quantize, right? You got it. And then go to the next track and record just the symbols. And now I can quantize this down here easily two quarter notes, not a hundred percent. Like I want to leave some humanity in there, right? So 65%. And now I'll always have my kit separated from my symbols, but going through the same plugging as one kit playing all together. And that's really good for arrangement as well, because you see, I have all of these things in two tracks. So I can duplicate this a bunch of times like this. And let's say I want to do a verse here that doesn't have the symbols. Before I would have to click on this, open the media editor here and select the symbols and delete the symbols. But now, because they're separate, I can just come over here and visually and in practice, it's much easier to just come here and delete the symbols like this. Oh, look at that. Symbols deleted from this part. And now I have a part without symbols. And then the symbols are going to come in. And it's so easy and clean to look at. I know this was a quick tip. Don't know how useful this is for you, but at least for me, it helps me to think about the arrangement so much better and it helps me edit these MIDI parts so much easier. I hope this helps someone out there. If you like this video, please press all the buttons out there that help me in this world and I see you all next time. Bye.